Is Meghan Markle the new people's princess? Dot. Since the day Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their royal engagement, and possibly even before that, people all over the world have compared the Duchess of Sussex to her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. And, now, with her own connection to the public, as well as her impressive philanthropic efforts, we can't help but wonder, is Meghan Markle the new people's princess? Why was Princess Diana called the People's Princess? Known for her warm, authentic connection to the public, Princess Diana was often called the People's Princess. She was involved in over 100 charities and pledged her life to humanitarian work involving homelessness, HIV-AIDS, children, landmines, and more. Additionally, she helped change the British royal family through her actions and outspokenness. I would like a monarchy that has more contact with its people. She famously remarked in a 1995 interview with BBC's Panorama. And, although she is not alive to see it today, this life mission has come full circle with her own sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, and their wives, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. Is Meghan Markle the new people's princess? It's been almost one year since Meghan Markle officially joined the royal family as the Duchess of Sussex. And, in that short time, she has not only managed to forge a connection with British citizens and others around the world, she has also used her platform to raise awareness to the causes near and dear to her heart, all things worthy of a people's princess title. Here are all the ways Meghan Markle makes a good people's princess. She is warm and friendly. One way Princess Diana truly connected with the public is through her warm and friendly personality. Meghan Markle seems to take after the late princess with her own connections with the public. While on royal engagements, the Duchess of Sussex often hugs, shakes hands, and beams at members of the public, as well as patients, leaders, and other people involved in her work. She has a charity-first mentality. A people's princess always has charity on her mind, which makes Meghan Markle a shoe-in for the honorary title. At every opportunity, including her royal wedding and baby gift registries, she puts the needs of others first by requesting donations to charitable organizations on behalf of her own life events. The Duchess of Sussex recognizes that she is very fortunate, but doesn't let them get in the way of others that aren't as lucky. So as a way to give back and help motivate change, she often champions organizations that align with her passions, values, and concerns. She is outspoken. Much like her late mother-in-law, Meghan Markle is also outspoken about the things that matter to her, some of which weren't allowed to be discussed during Princess Diana's time. Case in point, the Duchess of Sussex has drawn attention to her feminist ideals and sought to help further the conversation of gender equality. Among other topics the royal family might view as more politically charged. If it weren't for Princess Diana, Meghan Markle likely wouldn't be allowed to draw attention to these types of social issues, which make her connection to the late princess, as well as the public, much deeper. While there will never be another Princess Diana, her legacy carries on through Meghan Markle and other members of the royal family.